My Fijian Voices is proudly produced in partnership with the British High Commission. Welcome on board Patterson Brothers Spirit of Harmony. We are setting sail to the old capital Levuka, the island of Ovalau in the Lomaiviti province to meet with SMEs whose families stems from generations of barbers, tailors and bootmakers. I'm Andy Blake, this is my Fijian Voices. Meet Mahesh Vital Mysuria, a popular face who runs a barber shop that is located on Beach Street in the old capital. With over 50 plus years of barbering experience, his barber shop houses the oldest barber chair in Fiji that has been passed down through six family generations. Mahesh is not just a talented barber, he's also a gifted musician who performs alongside one of the icons of featured music, Jimmy Subaidas. Bula, I'm Mahesh Vital and this is my Fiji. Uh, my dad was a hairdresser. We are from the hairdressing clan from India and uh, my dad was brought in to Fiji by his uncle. He was 13 years old I think at that time and they started off in bar. <coughs> then <coughs> he went back to India, came back and then he was cutting hair on the th at uh, 3rd Battalion in uh, Nambua. And the 3rd Battalion soldiers were from Lomai Viti. So that was in 1944-45. 45 when the Second World War finished and the soldiers from uh, Lomai Viti, the Opala soldiers, they brought him here. They couldn't see Vital Bay. So they called his name William. Everybody know him by William here. So they brought him here and he liked the place so he set up here. I was in class 7. I was born here in Lubuka. So in class 7 I started learning how to uh, use the scissors and the comb. And at that time we didn't have machines. We had those hand clippers. So it was a tough job. but. I used to get a lot of slaps too from the old man making one mistake but that was a good thing that I learned to be perfect. Someone's got to carry on that family tradition. See? My dad told me to learn how to use the scissors and the comb because of this thing. In case if the power goes off, what you gonna do, he said. See? That was a good learning experience. So I had to learn that as well. I had to sit down on the chair the right there after school and do this every afternoon. Just sit down there for at least an hour. Just doing this. And then I had so much interest in cutting hair. So what I used to do, get a piece of paper and I cut it like a hair like that and put the comb there then I try and learn. <laughs> in those days, in the 70s, we used to have uh, European teachers in the school. And they used to have straight hair like ours and it's very difficult to cut. Not easy. Pigeon hair is easier than this hair. So... <laughs> My dad, I never want to cut their hair because I might make a mistake and then I'll get a hiding in the school or something like that. But then my dad, he was so smart. He said, no, you just started, I just go to the washroom, I'll be back, I'll finish it off. He doesn't come back. And I'm sweating here, cutting their hair. And after that, they are happy with the haircut. They say, hey, you did a good job, the uh, teachers. So that's how I got into it too. And I got confidence. I can do any style of hair cutting, shave, 
uh, for men and ladies I can do pigeon breathing or bobcat and I think uh, I, we got some kind of mana in us when uh, ladies some of the ladies they have their hair done straightened and all that and it mirrors like yesterday one came and her hair started falling so it's a gift to us that when we touch it and it stops falling it is like that. so a lot of ladies here in Novalo they know about this so they always come to me whenever they have hair problems well the thing is is that you do a good job you satisfy your customers they'll always come back to you and it's uh, it's fun to cut hair and it's a challenge as well eh? and uh, you got to do it right because hair is your looks so most of my clients are locals eh? and even the tourists when they come they are satisfied with the haircut as well they always give us tips mine actually hasn't done any effect nothing at all to be honest and we are so lucky that Pefco is still running that is our main backbone of this uh, island and if Pefco is not there that's it even whatever comes covered or whatever comes it will affect us if Pefco is not here so so at the moment we are all okay it has it has done a lot of difference whereas you know the weather pattern actually that's uh, number one before whenever um, it is to rain like a uh, straw diesel used to come eh? and uh, we know oh it's bongi walu eight days it's gonna rain now it won't it's just gonna come anytime it wants to come or stop eh? and then um, there's a place right out if you go to Dremba you listen to the stones the humming of the sea water the reefs you can tell the bad weather is coming or no now even if it hums the bad weather doesn't come I make money <laughs> Yeah, and I enjoy making money and um, as long as I'm busy all the time I can work I can carry on working sometimes I start from 8 in the morning I finish off 9 p.m. without lunch no lunch I carry on music I'm a musician as well so whenever I finish from here I start practicing I do my own track recordings singing I go to parties, go and sing, any openings, I go and sing, any government officials come, I sing for them. So I guess. Uh, to, uh, last year we were supposed to go to Sydney and um, Melbourne, myself and Jimmy Subedas. We were supposed to go and do two concerts. But uh, no, this year actually, in March. Because of COVID, we had to cancel it. They called us again in uh, October and I still said, no, we don't take the risk. We'll do it next year. Uh, business, you got to have a focused mind on business and uh, you must look at the future you must plan yourself what you want to be somebody or nobody so if ever you learn any trade you must give it 100 percent at the moment i'm teaching my younger son who's in class seven how to cut hair so i told him the same thing what i'm telling you that he's got to be focused and he's got the interest and yeah that's another thing interest in any field you're gonna get into you must have the interest actually I'm, I'm gonna go into head um, the salon business very soon for ladies that will be doing firming and straightening you know whatever to be done with the ladies here I'll be getting to that soon so my wife is a beautician from Suva uh, from actually from India and uh, by now she'll be having enough time to get into the business as well. So we'll be doing something for the people of Ovalau. Next, I introduce you to Navin and Himu Valab. Find out more about their business and story next on My Fijian Voices. My Fijian Voices is proudly produced in partnership with the British High Commission. Fijian Voices is proudly produced in partnership with the British High Commission.
Meet Navin and Hemu Valab. The couple manages their family business, Valab & Sons, a general goods store that has been in operation for over 90 years and located on Levuka's Beach Street. Amongst their many possessions is a prized scissors and sewing machine. This was used to cut the fabrics that would later create garments for some of Fiji's former and late government ministers during the colonial era such as Ratu Sir Lala Sukuna. Bula, I'm Navin Valad and this is my Fiji. This business is going for almost, uh, started from uh, 1924, 96 years now. It's a family business. My father's father, then my f his father brought my f dad and they start a business here. They were tailor those days before, doing sewing. So, more system, they supply you the machine, material, everything. And they do the sewing. We have a few machines those days. We still have that machine here. This school, they need sulus and shirt and pants. And so we, they used to make them. Even uh, the ministers, when they were here, as a commissioner deal uh, from uh, Loreto, they have a school there, girls' school, St. John boys' school. So they used to make all this. Even even the dad used to make a uh, Ratu Maras uh, uniform. Some other ministers too that were schooling here. They are all made here. You don't get ready made. From that time, we are still here. It's, it's, it's a family business. Dad was a, uh, I mean, they were the tailors. Then slowly they, you know, bring up their business and they, they come from India, they were a tailor. Then they set up here. His father, my dad had, uh, uh, my father's father had five brothers. So every time he goes to India, bring one son. So, this is the place they come. They know it's a nice uh, and peaceful place, and it was everything was going on fine. So the business start like that. Because when we're small, we have a very like a hard time. So our parents teach us when you come from school, you stay in the shop and do the selling and all those. Things. So that train make us all family to how to do the business. Well, uh, this is just a normal shop, like uh, selling materials and items like that. But whenever someone comes, they are, they are so happy. The way we talk and we, you know, l look after them and they always uh, remember this place. And even it's this like shop. A family, when they come, it's, they say like, go wekana, go to two store, like that. They come and they, when they come inside, they just uh, want to come and say hello. And they, with the way we talk, they really like it, like relationships, like you know. Well, uh, Dad used to do a lot of sewing those days, and we have a special scissors that he used to use that. We still have that scissors here. You can lay four or five layers of material and you cut straight. So you don't have to cut, uh, if you're making a shirt or pants, you don't have to just cut one pants and another pants. Or you, can, you can cut straight away with four pants or five together. You just set the material then. It is a very good scissors that been still kept here. We got that machine here, sewing machine, right from 1924, almost n more than 90 years now. Normally we get our stock from from Suva by the ferry, so it's very helpful. We the boat coming in and out, and there's plenty boats now nowadays, so it's no worry. We just ring today and we can have it tomorrow. Well, this is just a small place and. Nothing much happened here. We didn't feel it, but uh, the business was quiet. Everything is just like normal here. So we have just a simple life. We have shop and the house in the back, and whatever we can sell, it's okay. It's not much things here, so we 
you know, we can extend our business too because uh, children are all married, just two of us. Just take it easy, yeah? Whatever we have, we should be happy with it. If you want more and more and we don't have uh, uh, help, then it'll be a big problem, yeah? Just to, like two of us, if we have one shop, our neighbor have two shops, I'll get two and another one have four shops. Main thing is that yeah. help. Health is good, the money is there. No health, no way. It's not important how long you live, how do you live. Yeah, for the future, like we are both here, so we are trying our children, one of our children, to take over the business. Hope it works. Because it's no place like Levuka. Even Once children, they like to come here. They say, Grandparents, don't worry. If you're not there, we will come and control it. <laughs> <laughs> if not, we have to convince our grandchildren. But we are here. Doesn't matter. It's good days, bad days. But but my son said, don't sell the property. Don't sell anything. Just live in Levuka like that. One day maybe we can use that place. But don't sell the property. No, you can't get this place anywhere in the world. Next, I introduce you to Mahendra Kumar, who manages Ambalau, a family business that was founded by his family, skilled bootmakers that came to Levuka from India in the colonial era. Meet him next on My Hidden Voices. My Fijian Voices is proudly produced in partnership with the British High Commission. My Fijian Voices is proudly produced in partnership with the British High Commission. Meet Mahendra Kumar, a business owner in the old capital. Bado, a nickname he is fondly called by managers and Balal, his family business that is located on Levuka's Beach Street. His ancestors and family originally came to Levuka as bootmakers and made quality footwear by hand for the many locals including representatives of government during Fiji's colonial era. Bula, this is Mahindra Kumar. This is my Fiji. My dad, my dad's name is Mr. Modi Ramtrigo. Uh, He's, uh, he was working for Ambala and Camp. And since then he's been, we had a company, like we have three shops in Silver. We had one in Levuk. Uh, all the, uh, and they, they came at a group. They were operating in Silver, they were operating in Levuk. And then, and my dad stayed over in Levuk and the others shifted to Silver. They were together. After that they, after they, you know, they split it from there. Had their own shops. They were my uncles, you know. So from there, it just carried on, you see. The children grew up, braided. So there was, then after the shops, it was the Zuma, and I'm still operating in Amal and Sons in Levuka. It was company that got to Amal and Sons. Since 1945, they were here. They were in Levuka. They, they were doing, they were making own boots. They were making sandals and own shoes, you know, for orders and all those. See? So my dad used to figure, Make sandals for Rotomara, Rotopenea, to make sandals. Rotopenea, to make sandals. to make sandals for them also. No, we are the, see, how they, they, they are the bootlegs. They, they, they make only shoes. They only in shoe business. They, they make shoes, they repair shoes. They, were, they used to do this. Nothing else. See? Um, nothing, it was just like competition, nothing. Much. We were just, see, we had what it is and we are keeping a different life. See. We sell all quality stuff, see, all brand stuff, and, uh, and we give service to the customers if they want anything, you know, if they want anything, products, we order it specially for them. So. I'm the one keeping the varieties, or else other people to sell for this. And I also uh, agent for ownership, and we, we, we just started about a month ago now, see. 
Yeah, so his unique counter there, my dad's counter, I'm giving it, his unique one is giving, giving the unique, see? Those are things, and, but it's at, before when I used to have a shot, it used to be in front, see? People can see it. Now it's, when I'm here, it's just in the corner, and I just look, just it'll remind me about my dad, see? Those, and then after I have a shop in which I know, I stay busy over here. Oh, it's been quite, it's been long since, you know, that's unique ones, all those new ones. We have the new ones, we have old ones. Those ones I put in the count, it's, I was not born when the ones over oh, yes. there. Ambalal has served the Levuka public with quality footwear, clothing, general goods and accessories. The business located at the entrance to the old capital municipality and in one of the heritage buildings is sheltered from the occasional raging sea sprays that splatters over the seawalls by the buildings opposite it. This prevents the business and building from facing any major environmental hiccups that some businesses face along Beach Street. Mm, it's just perfect. It's all right. They all, all come. They come from the island. They come from out island. They come from all from Oblau outside. They come by. Even people come on from Suva, they buy goods from my shops. They, they don't find those items which they see here. They don't find it elsewhere in Suva. See? So when they come, they just say, this is something different. Mm, we do a lot of tourists here, but for locals we used to, it was alright. We are not affected by COVID-19, see, since we have persuasion in Kamani Run, so it wasn't affected at all. It was just normal. Mm, once I, when I get in the shop, I just busy all day, look up customers, they coming, we talk to each other and see things I in the shop. Yeah, we have some old customers, they still come to the shop. They come the year and see, they are about, they are about my, my dad, you know, since he was here. So we, we, are, we are following my dad's steps and we do the same business, same way. Yeah, now to serve the people look and carry on the legacy to the people here, see. Yeah, be honest, be honest and, you know, be friendly. That's how you want to do your business. Eh? How long I'll run, I'll run. I have my books here. If they are good, I'll give, it, I'll give the business to them, they'll make over. Somebody will take over the job. Thank you for watching our show. I hope you enjoyed meeting Mahesh Vital Maisturia, Navin and Hemu Valab, and Mahendra Kumar. Now get in touch with me if you also know of someone that has an inspiring story that we can tell on our platform. Message me via the My TV Facebook page. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family. I'm Andy Blake. This is my Fijian Voices. Nisa Modemanda from the old capital Levuka. My Fijian Voices. My Fijian Voices is proudly produced in partnership with the British High Commission.